There are just so many different terms. There were all these different types on the market, all of these different ways to do it, and it can get really confusing. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's episode of The Hyla Home. Here we talk about motherhood, natural living, and homemaking, which includes renovating our 1940s house. Today I'm gonna talk to you about the different types of cloth diapers. When I first started cloth diapering, it was super confusing. There were all these different types on the market. And I see that as being something that's super overwhelming with some of my friends who also are having babies and decide they also want a cloth diaper. There are just so many different terms, all of these different ways to do it, and it can get really confusing. So I thought I would break it down to you by showing you each of the types of cloth diapers that there are that you can use. I wanna apologize really quickly. We're actually, my husband's home and he's doing some renovations in the kitchen. So if you hear some noises or banging or vacuums or anything like that, um, that's him. And then my baby is sleeping. So I'm hoping to get th through this super quickly before she wakes up. So we'll see how this goes. Might have to finish the second half of this later. So the first type of cloth diaper that is super common is called the all-in-one. And I think this diaper is pretty much the most common one on the market and the one people think they're gonna like the most when they first think about cloth diapering, especially individuals who are going from disposable diapers to cloth diapers. Now, I do not have a all-in-one diaper with me here now. I only have newborn sizes of cloth diapers and those are all in storage but I am taking those out here soon because we're about to have our second baby and so I will overlay this video with a demonstration of what an all-in-one diaper is. Essentially, it is a cloth diaper that nothing else needs to be added. So it typically snaps or Velcros, it goes on your baby, the absorbency is already attached into it either by a tongue of absorbency like in this example, or it's all sewn in all together. The outside is waterproof and you don't have to worry about covers or anything like that. And typically they are adjustable. So that is your typical all-in-one diaper. Now where people get confused is your, you have the all-in-ones and then the second type of diaper, which is called the all-in-twos. Now the all-in-two diapers are very similar. They have a waterproof layer on the outside like this one. All, they have snaps to secure it onto your baby, and then inside they have a tongue of absorbency. Now the difference between an all-in-one diaper and an all-in-two diaper is simply that you can remove the absorbency from the diaper. Sometimes you can also add different levels of absorbency. This one, for example, I could snap on another cloth diaper insert and actually make this more absorbent. So the all-in-two diapers and the all-in-ones are like sister diapers. They're very similar. They're both very easy, very good alternatives to disposable diapers because all you have to do is pack them in your diaper bag, put them on your baby, and you're set. Now this next type of diaper I want to talk to you about is the pocket diaper. And this is probably one of the second most common ones on the market, um, second to the all-in-one. And that is you have a what you consider a pocket diaper that has a big pocket in the back or the front. This one has a pocket in the back and you pair it with an absorbent inner layer. And like I said, the vacuum just started going. So we're gonna try to go through this with that background noise. And again, I apologize for all of that. So for the pocket diaper, a lot of the times they are adjustable. I don't really see very many newborn sizes of this. You can adjust all the way up to a toddler size, all, all the way down to like a three month old size. And it's simply, you take the diaper, you take the insert and you stuff it and you put it on your baby. So super simple, another great alternative. A lot of people love this style because it's so customizable. You can put multiple inserts or thinner inserts, or for example, this insert adjusts so I can um, put some of the absorbency in the back or in the front. Pocket diapers are a really affordable option. You can typically get a pack of like five for about $50. So pocket diapers are a really common option for people who are cloth diapering. Now the next super common diaper alternative 
is called fitted diapers. Now, fitted diapers are a little bit more difficult. They, they come like this. They look like your all-in-ones or your all-in-two diapers. However, all of this is technically the absorbent part, which means you're actually going to have to pair it with a diaper cover that's waterproof. And you can have a couple of different styles of fitted diapers. This one, for example, has snaps and has a insert that can also snap into it, very similarly to the all-in-two diapers. This is the Sloom S-L-O-O-M-B fitted diaper, and this is a very common option and a very durable option for a fitted diaper. And as you can see, it has some adjustments for the waist. Now with fitted diapers, a lot of the times what you will find is they are not adjustable like the pocket diapers or like a lot of your all-in-one diapers. Typically they're one size and they will only fit for one stage. So this one is a lot bigger and would fit for an older baby, but not necessarily a younger baby. Your other style of Fitted diapers would be something like this. This one does not have any snaps, and so instead you would pair it with something like this or a diaper pin that would help secure it onto the baby. This one also has a tongue of absorbency, but unlike the other one, it is sewn in. Actually, this one is falling apart, so this tongue is coming out. However, it was initially sewed in. And then finally, you can have one like this where the, the absorbent part is pretty much just the entire diaper. It has multiple layers all sewn together. You don't have a tongue of absorbency and it actually tends to be a little bit trimmer and not as bulky on your baby. Now much like the fitted diapers, the next few diapers I'm going to go through all need to be paired with a diaper cover, which is an outer waterproof layer. You might have remembered from the old school traditional diaper, cloth diapering, where we have like the pull-up panties the wet pants, this is sort of the same thing, although a lot of the covers are more functional nowadays. So you can have a hybrid system, which is a insert, much like you would put into a pocket diaper, simply inlaid into a diaper cover. That is considered a hybrid cloth diaper. Some of them snap into the diaper cover and those are very convenient, but most of the time they just simply sit in the diaper cover. You put them on your baby, when you go to change it, you simply take this out and replace it with a new one. You can have different sizes of inserts, and so this is a large size for a larger baby, and this one is a smaller size for like a newborn or a smaller baby. Similarly to the hybrid, you have a pre-fold. Now this can be worn in this diaper the exact same way as the hybrid diaper, can just simply sit in the diaper cover or because this one is a little bit bigger and it actually has this seam along the edge that makes it very easy for folding in thirds you can actually do a couple of different things the most common is the angel fold which I will demonstrate on screen and that is a way to fold the diaper around your baby making it fit more like a fitted diaper and then you can pair it with a diaper cover. Oftentimes you will snap or use a little clip thing like this so that it is secure around your baby before putting on the cover. So you previously saw the pre-fold diaper. This is a flat diaper, which is grandma style diapers, a big giant sheet, and you can fold it in all sorts of different ways. I'm not as talented when it comes to folding it, but there are all sorts of YouTube videos out there and you can put this on your baby and it will fit either like a fitted diaper or you can simply fold it like an insert, which is the way I use these diapers, and stick it in the diaper cover and use it similarly to the hybrid system. A diaper I have never used before or even own is a pre-flat diaper and that diaper is like a combination of one of these flat diapers and a pre-fold diaper. So I've seen them before where it has all of this extra fabric and then maybe it's still, I don't even know if you can hear it, but it's just so loud. Isn't it a miracle she's not waking up? Knock on wood. Okay. 
So I've seen it before where it looks something like this, where you have all of this fabric and then like these little wings on the top, I guess to secure around your baby. Um, there's a lot of different styles. That might be something you're interested in. I know people who get really creative for the flat diapers, really like the pre-fold diapers, so it might be something you are willing to try. And lastly, because we talked about it, I want to review the different types of diaper covers because if you're going to do a fitted diaper, hybrid diaper, pre-fold, flat, or pre-flat diaper, you're going to need a waterproof outer layer. Now, I've showed you this one. This is the Thirsty's Snap Diaper Wrap, which is made out of TPU. This is pretty much the most common style of cloth diaper covers. You have TPU and pull, which is just a polyester that has either been treated with chemicals to make it waterproof, or TPU, which is a substance that has been brushed onto the polyester to make it waterproof. Essentially, it is a polyester waterproof cover. They typically snap and they are typically adjustable. Now, this one is kind of a combination of a waterproof cover and like a cloth-ish cover. So it has the polyester on the inside and this one actually Velcros shut and does not have any adjustable snaps. So this would only fit a very specific size. Now the other alternative you can do for cloth diaper covers is wool. And I really love wool because it is good for the baby's skin, it's breathable, and I just feel like it looks so much cuter on the baby. You can have your traditional wool snap covers like this one or like this one which looks very similar to the Thirsty's diaper wrap which I showed you. However, you can also have wool diaper covers as shorties. These are little shorts which are all made out of wool, typically felted in the diaper area and go right over the diaper absorbent part. You can have longies, which are the exact same thing, except they are like little leggings or pants. And you can have soakers, which look like shorties, but when you turn them inside out, you can actually see like this extra pad that has been sewn into the diaper. And that is just an extra layer of wool and it makes it even more absorbent. So the shorties are really cute and they typically don't ever leak because they have that extra layer of wool in there and wool actually has some absorbency in and of itself. Whereas with the polyester covers, there's nowhere for the pee to go if the diaper gets super saturated. So that's kind of the nice thing about wool is it's absorbent in and of itself. So you actually minimize your chances of having leaks. All right, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for bearing with me for this incredibly interruptive video. I appreciate you so much. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. I try to put videos out every week. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>